Okay, so I'm Brandon Fleming. Uh, I'm playing Pastor Manders in this production uh, of Ghosts by Ibsen. Uh, it's a new version by uh, a very, very well-known Irish playwright, a contemporary playwright uh, called Frank McGuinness. Uh, he's translated quite a few other Ibsen classics. So this is one of his versions of an Ibsen play. And in what way um, has Frank McGuinness changed or, or sort of re reworked the play, would you say, from the original? Well, that's a really interesting question. I mean, um, I guess it's just the kind of the flavour is slightly different. It's a different playwright uh, putting their stamp onto it. Uh, so it's got a different kind of poetry. It's got a different flow to it. He's chosen to highlight certain things, like somebody who's a great chef deciding to bake, I don't know, uh, a cake. Uh, and it's, you know, how it might turn out with, with their hand yeah. at the wheel. Basically. Say that the themes, you know, like always in, in, in plays that survive this long, this play's about 120 130 years old, uh, plays that survive this long and are done constantly have something universal in them. You know, this one, if you're a mother, this, this play would appeal to you. If you're a son, this play would appeal to you. If you're a father, it would appeal to you. It's about those universal themes of family, uh, loss, uh, the relationship of a mother and her son. The themes are completely contemporary. Um, it's a great play. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's totally, it feels totally modern. This play will be touring. Uh, so this is the first, uh, I think, of about 15 weeks. We're here for about three nights. Um, and the sets had to have been designed to fit into this space, but also to be able to, to be toured around a whole different range of venues for the next X amount of weeks. The design, the set, etc., lighting, uh, you don't want it to intrude. Uh, so it's there, it's subtle, it's supporting the story. Uh, you know, but at the essence is the heart of the story, at the essence is the people. Uh, and the characters and what they go through and their st and their story and you know and their experience and hopefully that would be that will pull people into it mm -hmm. and again you know written in 1880 so obviously it was set in Norway in 1880 uh, with the design and the costumes etc we've kind of kept a kind of feeling of that period. What um, is it about a play like something like uh, Romeo and Juliet that can be adapted and brought into a modern context but whereas the Ibsen it doesn't lend itself so much. I you know? think probably with this particular play, uh, what wouldn't allow you to set it in uh, Winchester in 2011 is the fact that the morality of the play is very much of its time. I'm playing a, a priest, a pastor, who's very, very, very uh, tight, and uh, you know, uh, I, I, I disapprove of anything, even remotely immoral. Uh, and those kinds of, uh, that, that take on immorality, I don't think translates. Romeo and Juliet is about love, and love is universal. L love could be, uh, you know, whenever. And so I think that works okay. But something mm -hmm. which is so tied to its time in terms of the morality, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and the convention, yeah. and the manners, yeah. then I think that that has to be set, uh, or at least be seen to be set in something much more period.